Hello friends, welcome again to the world of Maths by Yami. So this question is sent by Mr. Indu Bhushan, one of our best and the laborious student of our batch. So the question is in front of you. N is the smallest number such that n by 2 is a perfect square, n by 3 is a perfect cube, then the number of divisors of n is how many? So this one is your question. I would suggest please pause the video and try to solve the question. I hope you have paused and solved to kiya hoga. Okay, and comment bhi kiya hoga. So this is quite easy question with a concept. We know n is divided by 2 is a perfect square. It means n must have 2 as a factors. Could have other times 2. n is divided by 3 is a perfect cube. It means n has also 3 as a factor. So we have 2 and 3 both are as a prime factors of n. And we want the least number of n as a n. So in the least number, there is no need to take other primes because it's a least number. So we have to take primes only 2 and 3. So we have only 2 primes 2 and 3 as a prime factors for the n. Now what is the quotient? After dividing by 2, it's a perfect square. It means what do you mean by the perfect square? Perfect square ka kya matlab hota hai? Power should be the multiple of 2. So the power is 2m and 2n when we divide. When we divide by 2, the power is 2 2m and power is 3 2n. So when we do not divide by n, the n must be 2, 2m plus 1 and 3, 2n. That's why we divide by 2, the 2 cancel out. What would happen in the case of n divided by 3? When n is divided by 3, we can easily say this is a perfect cube. The meaning of the perfect cube is power should be the multiple of 3. So say this one is 3p and this one is 3q in the case of when n is divided by 3. If what happens if n is not divided by 3? So 3 is going to this side. This one is the n divided by 3. This one is the n by 2 for this value. So the n value is nothing but 2 into 3p and 3 into 3q plus 1. And these two are nothing but the n and we are looking for the smallest n. So we just need to equate the base. So if we equate the base of 2, so we can say 2 raised to power 2m plus 1 is equal to 2 raised to power 3p. It means what? It means the power of 2 is a number which when divided by 2 remainder is 1. So this one is nothing but a Chinese remainder theorem. When the power of 2 divided by 2 remainder is 1, when the power of 2 divided by 3 remainder is 0 because it's complete multiple. So the according to the Chinese remainder theorem, 2 gives remainder 1 and 3 gives remainder 0. It means the power must be 3 because 3 is the least number and we are working on a least number. 3 is the least number which behaves like this divided by 2 remainder is 1 divided by 3 remainder is 0. So we can say n is nothing but 2 raised to power 3. Now we need to work on a power for the base 3. So it's 3 raised to power 2n and it's 3 raised to power 3 cube plus 1. So we can say 2n is equal to 3 cube plus 1 because both are the same number for the same base, same number, power should be same. It means what? Divided by 2, no remainder, 0. Divided by 3, remainder is nothing but 1. So with the Chinese remainder theorem, there is a number divided by 2, remainder is 0. Divided by 3, remainder is 1. So this should be nothing but 4. So the 4 is the least number which behaves like this. So n is equal to 3 raised to power 4. I hope in the version is it okay. n by 2 is a perfect square. So it's 2 raised to power 2m and 3 raised to power 2n. So the n is equal to 2, 2m plus 1, 3, 2n. n divided by 3 is a perfect cube. Means power must be multiple of 3, 3p and 3q. And so we have n is equal to 3p and 3q plus 1. Equating the base by the Chinese remainder theorem, the least power is 3 for the case of 2. And the least power is 4 for the case of 3. This one is the n. But we want nothing but a number of divisors. Number of divisors is nothing but a total number of factors. So in this, we need to increase the power. 4, we need to increase the power. So the answer of this question is nothing but 20. So this one is one of the most conceptual question of the total number of factors as well as characteristics of a perfect square and the perfect cube. So I hope this one is clear. If it is not clear, I would suggest please watch it again and solve the homework. Still, if you have any doubt, I would say post your doubts as a comment. I'll try to give my best to resolve your doubts. Now, this one is a homework. n is the smallest number, is still the smallest number, such that n by 2 is a perfect square, n by 3 is a perfect cube, and n by 5 is a perfect fifth power of a natural number, 
then number of divisor of n is what so this one is your homework with the learning of this question try to solve this question and indu i am waiting for your answer okay god bless you happy learning and stay tuned with us if you want to join maths classes for all competitive examination feel free to ping us or go to the www.3learning.co.in for the more details of the courses god bless you happy learning and bye bye